now as i said uh, we are coming to the to a very important madani surah and that is surah al nur just recall now we are having in the mushaf a madani surah after 14 makki surahs yunus hud yusuf alayhi salam arad ibrahim al hijr an nahl bani israil al kahf maryam taha and anbiya and then lastly al hajj and al mu'minun we have just finished al mu'minun now this is the surah it comprises nine sections and it has i think nearly about 70 or 63 perhaps ayat بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة انزلناها وفرضناها This is a very strange beginning of a surah. Mostly we have been seeing either حروف مقطعات الف لام ميم الف لام را الف لام ميم صاد الف لام ميم را and so on so forth. Or mention of the glory for Allah or his praise or some introduction of Quran some praise of Quran only a few had started absolutely without any preface we find surah an-nisa and surah al-maida direct address ya ayyuhan nas ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu but here is very peculiar particularly this surah being mentioned and utilized surah an and this common noun in arabic comes for something which is very big very high التنكير للتخفيم they call it this is the rule in the nahaf grammar of arabic surah is a very grand surah anzalnaha which we have sent down wa faradnaha and we have enjoined upon you prescribed upon you you have to abide by it ayat farad anzalna fiha ayat bayyanat la'allakum tadhakkarun and we have sent down in it very clear signs and revelations so that you get the admonition number one straight off azaniyat wa zani the adulteress and the adulterer fajlidu kull wahid minhuma mi'at jalda flog each one of them a hundred stripes wala ta'khuzkum biha ta'fatun fi din Allah and let not tenderness for them seize you regarding the law of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the had of allah this has been prescribed by allah you have to execute you have to flog them hundred stripes maybe you are feeling sympathetic towards them but it should not come in the way these commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have to be executed in kuntum tu'minuna billahi wal yawmil akhir If you really believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last day, well, yashat azabahuma and their chastisement should be witnessed ta'ifat min al-mu'mineen by a group of the believers. They should see, see it with their eyes. When they are being flogged, there should be people to watch and see so that there is terror. it becomes a deterrent for other people that this is the punishment if i do the same it will come to me also and this is the philosophy of the severe punishments that are prescribed in islam a deterrence and we have examples even today wherever these punishments are enforced crime just evaporates formerly there was example of saudi arabia but now things are different there because there are a lot of immigrants over there people having coming from the all the hooks and corners of of the world but recently now we find the same thing in afghanistan even dr javed iqbal a somewhat secular type of you know scholar but when he visited afghanistan and we came back he addressed a meeting in Jamia Hakania, a kora khata ke di said, "What I have seen in Afghanistan, if this can happen in a few more Muslim countries, 
دین دی ہول ورلڈ ول ایکسپٹ اسلام یس پیس ٹرینکولیٹی نو فیئر آف تھیفٹ نتھنگ آف دی سارٹ آل پیس اینڈ دیٹ ول بی فاس یو نو دی پنشمنٹ آر ویری سیویئر اف یو کل سب باڈی یو ول بی کلڈ اینڈ یو ول بی کلڈ ان دی سیم وے ان وچ یو ہیو کلڈ اف یو آر اسٹیبڈ ویل دے آر of that person whom you have killed has the right to stab you just as you stabbed the person whom you killed azani la yan ke illa zaniyatan aw mushrikatan the adulterer should not marry except an adulteress or someone from among the mushrikeen some woman from the associates wa zaniyatu la yan ke huwa illa zanin aw mushrikin and the adulteress she should not be married except by some adulterer or some mushrik male wa hurrima zalika lil mu'minin and this has been prohibited for the believers but please note this is a divine providence not a law if some woman commits adultery and if she was unmarried she has had the hundreds stripes then she makes toba you can marry her there's no bar it's not law but allah subhanahu wa taala you know he decides in his own providence that you know as we say birds of the same feather flock together so zania zania and zanis they will flock together it's, it is the natural phenomenon they have an inclination towards each other and you know the people who are chaste themselves they wouldn't like so this is a general phenomenon not a, a law of the sharia walladuna yarmun al muhsadat thumma lam yatu bi arbaat shuhada as for those who accused chaste women and then they can't bring forth four witnesses if you blame that she has or he has committed adultery but he cannot produce four witnesses i witnesses fajliduhum samani najalda from them 80s stripes wala taqbalu lahum adatan abada and then after that never accept from them any testimony in any case wa ulaika humul fasiqun and definitely they are the transgressors illa allazina tabu min ba'd zalik except those who repent after that wa aslahu and who have amended and they have rectified their behavior fa inna allaha ghafurur rahim so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful wa allazina yarmuna azwajahum wa lam yakun lahum shuhada illa anfusuhum now there is special case whosoever accuses his wife and but there is no witness except him he has seen the wife committing adultery now when he has seen his, with his own eyes can he live with her now so what to do but but he doesn't have four witnesses what should you do wal ladina yarmuna azwajahum wa lam yakun lahum shuhada and those who accuse their wives but they don't have four witnesses fa shahada to ahadihim arba'u shahadatin billah so their testimony will be equal to four testimonies if they swear by allah i swear by allah i am true i am telling you the truth this is the truth laman innahu la min as-sadiqin that i am true truthful wal khamisatu an additional five fifth you know there should be anna lanat allah alayhi in kana min al kadhibin that if i am a liar then the curse of allah should come to me now his one testimony now is equal to four testimonies this will be accepted but will the woman the wife be given the punishment straight off no she will also be given a chance wa yadra anha 
العذاب ان تشهد اربع شہادات بالله انه لمن الكاذبين بٹ یو نو دی پنشمنٹ وڈ بی ریموو فرام ہر اف شی آلسو سویئرز فور ٹائم بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی دین مائی ہسبینڈ از ٹیلنگ ا لائی ہی از ا لائر والخامس تا اینڈ فار دی ففتھ ٹائم شی شوڈ سے ان غضب اللہ علیہا ان کان من الصادقین دیٹ دی ریت اف اللہ شوڈ کم ٹو می اف ہی از ٹروتھفل ولاو لا فضل اللہ علیکم و رحمتہ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز گیون دس لا ٹو یو how to settle such affairs and he is giving them you to you in detail wan allah tawwab ur hakim and verily allah is the acceptor of repenting and he is the wise